Is Travis Scott's charity project a publicity stunt? The entertainment industry is full of talented and skillful people. It also contains people with golden hearts who work for needy people in the community and spend huge amounts of money on them. The famous singer and rapper Travis Scott is also one of them who has the pain of humanity. Just now, he has announced the donation of $5 million to local community-based funds, as well as a U.S. Conference of Mayors task force on event safety. However, some people also criticize him for this act and call it an act of publicity Stunt. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we will tell you that is Travis Scott's charity project a publicity stunt? Yep, you heard it right, so let's find out together. Jack Berman is his real name, and he is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, and record producer. Travis Scott's name, which he adopted from the name of his favorite uncle, combined with one of his favorite rappers, Kid Cudi's real name, he has nominations for eight Grammy Awards, and achieved a Latin Grammy Award, and a Billboard Music Award as well. Epic Records signed Travis in 2012, which was its first major label. He also signed a publishing deal with Kanye West Good Music as part of its production wing very good beats. His debut studio album was Rodeo, which was released in 2015, and its hit single Antidote, which was his first platinum single, and managed to get a position on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart. His second album, Birds in the Trap Sing McKnight, released in 2016, became the number one album on the Billboard 200. He was the first artist who had three songs debut at number one on Billboard Hot 100 in less than a year in 2020. In April of 2017, he started dating Kylie Jenner, a media personality and businesswoman. Jenner also worked in his music video, Stop Trying to Be God, on February 1st of 2018. She gave birth to their first child, Stormy Webster. On September 7th, 2021, Jenner revealed that they were expecting their second child. He is a family man and loves and respects his family. Along with his family, Travis also cares about people in bad conditions in society. Recently, on Tuesday 8th of March, the famous rapper launched the $5 million Philanthropic and Safety Initiative, which offered scholarships to HBCU students, and young people were also offered mental health resources and funded for a task force to address safety challenges at large-scale events. He wrote in his Instagram post while announcing his HEAL project, Over the past few months, I've been taking the time and space to grieve, reflect, and do my part to heal my community. He explained that he wants to use his resources for an actionable change in society. He said that it would be a long journey for his family, and and he felt himself a leader in the community. He needs to step up in times of need. He says that his team and he created Project Heal to take much needed action towards supporting real solutions and make all events the safest spaces they could possibly be. He would always honor the victims of the Astro World tragedy who remain in his heart forever. However, although his friends and fans appreciate him, some critics say that it is just an act of seeking attention and popularity. The grandparents of Ezra Blunt, a nine-year-old boy, and one one of the 10 fans who lost their lives during the deadly crowd surge in November of 2021 highly criticized him. And while talking to Rolling Stones, T.C. Blunt said, It's a PR stunt. He's pretty much trying to sway the jurors before they even assemble. He's trying to make himself look good, but it doesn't look that way to someone with our eyes. We're seeing that he's done wrong, and now he's trying to be the good guy and trying to give his own verdict on safety. On Wednesday the 9th in March, lawyer Robert Hilliard, who is representing Ezra Blunt, father filed an emergency motion against Travis Scott, which argued that his Project Heal announcement had violated the gag order in the mountain of lawsuits filed over the festival tragedy. In a response to this, Travis Scott's representative, Stephanie Rawlings-Blake, referred to it as a shameful and beyond cynical, and said that Hilliard had accused Mr. Scott of violating a court order when he has done nothing of the kind. She said that it was disappointing that Mr. Hilliard would attack Project Heal, a series of philanthropic gestures designed to give students and young people a leg up. Project Heal continues Travis Scott's long-standing work, including academic scholarships and creative design programs for underprivileged students. She also added that Mr. Hilliard's outburst held no merit and was just a publicity stunt when the court expressly prohibited the very same actions that Mr. Hilliard had engaged in. The singer felt very bad about his accusations and condemned it. On Tuesday the 10th of March, his lawyers also filed new paperwork defending his rights to make a public statement about his ongoing philanthropic work, even related to public safety. 
Well, that's all for today's video. Let us know if this video has inspired you and if you liked Travis Scott act of kindness or if you are also a criticizer in the comment section below. I hope that you found this video interesting and if you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the next video with some more amazing celebrity facts and stories. But until then, stay tuned.